Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In today's video, we are going to deep into the integrations and I will tell you how the flows made the integration so easy. So in today's video, we are going to use the get function of rest. Okay, so let's go for it. This is my instance. This is the flow designer. Here I have created a simple action which is doing all this integration. So this is the action get incident code. As you already know that in any action there are three components. First one is input, then the processing and then the output along with some error evolution as well. Okay. So as an input I am taking the incident number and that incident number is coming from some other source. Let's say some other instance. Okay. You see the complete picture of data here. This is my input variable that is number. Okay. And then I have added a rest step. Okay, so how to add a rest step? You just need to click on this plus and create a new step and here you see rest one. Just add it whenever you want to add. Okay, so that's how I have added the rest step and in the rest step there are two things basically. The first one is establishing a connection because this is an integration and you have to establish a connection and then once the connection is established we are sending the request. Okay, so connection is established by simple inline connection where I have used credential alias. This alias is nothing but a basic authentication where I have used direct user ID and password of that instance. Okay, and then this is the URL or you can say endpoint which we use in a REST integration. This is of some different instance. This is my instance 95794 and I am doing integration with 125919. So after the credential is done, then we have to provide the request details. Here you see the method which I am using. I am using get method. All other methods are available and then I am providing the query parameters. So I have added two query parameters. In the very first one, I am sending the number. You see active equal to true and the number which we are getting as the input. Okay. And then we are uh, sending the number of fields which we want. So these are the number of fields comma separated which we want in return. So these are the two things which we are sending as a query parameter. So I have the connection ready. I have the request ready. Request is sent now and then you see here all the output variables are available. What I am receiving, what is the header, what is the response body, everything is mentioned here. So now I will use this output things, this output uh, objects in my script next so in the script i have added the input variables you see a simple variables of response body status code and error code and and just assign the values which are receiving from the output into this so here in the response body variable we have added this response body from here right this one okay just dragged it here like this we have added the status code and then in the error code we have added error code like this if you want you can create more variables move down we have the script here in order to set the output variables okay so here in the script we have two objects available input and output okay so whatever the responses are coming that comes under the category of inputs and whatever we are sending out of this function is considered as output so then we have the statement where we are checking the status code okay if input dot status code from where we are getting the status code here this one or you can say this one okay so here if it is 200 then we are creating a response body variable and parsing that response body which is coming from some other instance using dest into this variable okay json dot parse simple functions input dot response body so from where it is coming this is the response body and here we are capturing it okay and then we are using the number and short description variables which we have declared here as the output variables okay and then setting the value to these numbers you can see these numbers in the script as well script step number and short description type is string okay just like this so once this setting is done then we have to move to outputs so in the output section you have the option to create n number of output variables so as of now i have created only two name and short description and then i'm placing the values which we are getting from this so this script in this number and short description okay so you can edit the outputs so you can click on this edit outputs and you can create any variable you want here you see i have created two 
if you want you can create a new one okay so in this way you can create the variables which are treated as output so just move out from this edit mode okay so here just a drag and drop you see how simple it is to manage the things here we just added the variables and added the values directly from the script step okay like this so now this is done we have added the input we have the rest call then we have uh, parsed the value then finally the output is ready okay so once this action is ready you can use this actions multiple time in any of the flows you have and test it this is the input with there this is the input right it is asking for a number let me give the number run the test so you see here the test is completed okay let's go to the bottom here you see the incident number and the uh, short description which we want and it is done so now let's check the steps integration details okay these are the credentials this is the configuration details these are the query parameters which we have sent you know it already and this is the output which we are receiving this is the response body this is the response header okay click on this response body so you see respective to this incident we have all this value which we have asked for and then the status code step status code 0 and then success it means a oh, well done so i guess this is it for today's video if you have any question let us know otherwise use this utility to the fullest i will see you in any other video thank you so much bye bye